Starting out, I'm just generally laying out my lines and trying to get an idea of how I want this thing to look, both in shape, size, feel, everything. I thought it would help to actually visualize it. threw together a sort of tapering jig to cut the point of the blade. This took no time at all and just stuff I had laying around the shop. It's set to roughly 15-ish degrees. Here I'm working on the tang. I drew myself some stop lines so I don't go too far and then I'll just clean that up later with the chisel. These oak boards I'm cutting now are later going to make up the pommel and the guard of the sword. I'm using the dado stack to try and fit them to the tang and I'm just going with real light shallow passes cutting and testing cutting and testing until I get it just about perfect. I seem to have lost the footage where I took this over to the router and used a 45 degree chamfering bit to make the cutting edge of the blade. It left a lot of ridges that had to be sanded out, but all in all I would still say this was a successful move and I'm glad I did it this way. I forgot to mention earlier, I am using maple for this. I'm using the same wood for the grip. And I'm using the same method I was using earlier to fit it to the blade. Once that block of maple was done drying, I took it over to the lathe and started turning down the grip. I put a scrap piece of wood, the same dimensions as the tang, in the hole so that I had a place to put the centers of the lathe to hold it. I'm starting to turn down the pommel and you're gonna notice there's some gaps in the footage here I was not prepared for what it was gonna be like to turn this oak it was a nightmare I ended up having to resharpen my tools like every five minutes it was just a rough time this was not the only time this happened but I thought I would leave at least one of them in there just for entertainment value
down the guard went a whole lot smoother. Unfortunately, again, I seem to have just lost some footage here. The footage picks back up after I glued all three of those pieces onto the tang of the sword. One of the lessons I learned, next time I will glue this right side up because all that glue ran down the blade and that was not fun trying to clean that up. After I was done applying the finish to this, I wanted to give it a little something extra. So I rubbed it down with some super fine steel wool, applied a coat of paste wax, and then took it over to my buffing wheel and buffed it out. And this process really paid off. there's the completed sword. I'm really happy with how this came out. It's got a few flaws in it, just like everything else that comes out of my shop. Nothing's absolutely perfect, but I'm still really happy with it. Quite a few lessons learned, and I really hope to do this project again to incorporate those and see if I can't up the game on this. If you like this video, please let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think.